Finally, we have a report declassifying the origins of COVID-19, or at least the Biden administration tried to check the box and say there was one. You probably didn't hear about this report. Here it is, because number one, the media buried it, and second, it didn't say anything. See, every one of these pages has a ton of black on it, marking out key sections. You might remember when Secretary of State Antony Blinken went over to China to kiss and make up with China because we shot down the spy balloon that went over our country's most sensitive military bases, and we had to make up with them. Well, during that trip, great planning, we were supposed to, by law, issue a report from the Biden administration detailing the declassified information on the origins of COVID-19. Well, guess what? This report is about as exciting as Geraldo opening Al Capone's vault. Actually, that was probably more revealing. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google it. The report, 10 pages long, and as I mentioned, a ton of blacked out sections. It was officially released by the Office of Director of National Intelligence, and it was way, way short of what Congress had intended when they passed the law requiring the Biden administration to do this. This is not sufficient, said the House Intelligence Committee Chairman Mike Turner of Ohio. The report says that the intelligence agencies are still divided over whether the virus sprung from a lab leak or jumped naturally to humans from an infected animal. It also says that researchers at the Wuhan Institute of Virology were sick in the fall of 2019, but they weren't necessarily diagnosed with COVID-19. Look, I get it. You're trying to play nice with China. You wanna make up with them, but give me a break. This is a joke. Well, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button, subscribe and ring the bell to make sure that you never miss another video.